1938 proof Jefferson nickel. Graded as PF68 by NGC. According to grading service, proofs of the new Jefferson nickel became available in the final months of 1938, and collectors ordered a large number by standards of the time. This was facilitated by the Treasury's policy of selling all proofs either in sets or as singles. Since all of the 1938 proofs have the reverse of 1938 hub with its indistinct steps, this feature may be a bit incomplete. Some proofs of this date also show minor touch-ups to the dies for the purpose of reinforcing the design. Gems are fairly plentiful, yet the very high grades typical of later years are rare early dates in this series. This elusive specimen was sold for $960 on January 9, 2024. Number 7. 1976 Bicentennial Eisenhower Dollar. The Type 1 Variety. Graded as MS67 by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1976 Eisenhower Dollar had a one-year reverse design displaying the Liberty Bell as well as an image of the moon in the background. 1976 Eisenhower Dollars were actually struck in 1975 but had the date of 1976 on the actual coins. The 1976 Type 1 is the scarcer variety from the Type I and Type II variations struck this year. Even examples in MS65 are very hard to find for the 1976 Type I. Any example grading MS66 or higher for this coin should definitely be sent in to get graded, so that it remains preserved for many years to come as it is a rare coin in higher grade condition. It was sold for $1,054.12 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1955 D. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS67 by NGC. According to David Hall, the 1955 D is the lowest mintage 1941 to 1964 Washington Quarter. It created quite a stir at the time of issue as collectors and dealers of the day expected the low mintage to drive future rarity and demand. What happened was somewhat the opposite. So many uncirculated examples were saved that today gem MS65 examples are fairly easy to obtain. End of quote. Anything in MS67 and above is considered rare. PCGS certified none numerically finer. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $1,110 on January 9, 2024. Number 5. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. Graded as XF45 by PCGS. XF standing for extremely fine. The initials VDB on the reverse of the coin stand for Victor David Brenner, the designer of the Lincoln Cent, and their unauthorized inclusion on the coin led to a public outcry and their removal from future coins. The coin is in high demand among collectors even in circulated condition, like in this case, and its value has increased significantly over the years. This specimen fetched a sum of $1,200. Number 4. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with Double Die Reverse, widely known as Doubled Monticello. Graded as MS65 by PCGS. One of the stars of the Jefferson Nickel series, the 1939 Double Die Reverse issue is an elusive variety that is not frequently encountered. This lustrous steel-grade gem is fairly well-struck and appealing, and the bold doubling at Monticello and 5 cents is unmistakable. It ended up selling for $1,320 on January 9, 2024. Number 3. 1935 S. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. According to David Hall, the 1935 S. is one of the rarest Washington's S. mints in gem condition. It is obviously not as rare as the 1932 S., but after that only the 1937 S. is close in rarity to the 1935 S. Some mint state examples are softly struck, but sharply struck white luster gems are available with some frequency. This superb gem ended up selling for $1,471.50 with buyer's fee on January 7, 2024. Number 2. 2007 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS68 Red by PCGS. In terms of mintage, the 2007 Lincoln Cent has a substantial production quantity of over 3.7 billion, all minted in Philadelphia. Despite its high mintage, the rarity of a coin often depends on its condition or grade. In higher grades, such as Mint State, MS, 65 and above, the 2007 Lincoln Cent may not be considered rare, as the large mintage generally implies widespread availability in decent condition. 
Collectors typically find greater rarity and value in coins that are well preserved, with minimal wear and appealing luster. It is considered relatively rare in MS-68. MS-69 specimens are unheard of with none reported by PCGS so far as of 2024. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $2,982.38 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And this is 1970s Lincoln sent with double die obverse and large date. Graded as MS-65 read by PCGS. According Ron Guth, the really valuable 1970s large date double die obverse is FS-101. The other 1970s large date double die obverse is FS-103 which shows only minor doubling on the zero of the date and which is worth a tiny fraction of the FS-101. Most examples exist in uncirculated grades and displaying full red surfaces. Primarily because most examples were found in original mint bags and including original rolls, according to Jamie Hernandez. This highly sought-after coin ended up selling for $3,936.38 with buyer's fee. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you're lucky enough to own one of these coins, let us know in the comments. We love hearing about your numismatic adventures. God's willing, see you in the next video.